Welcome to a feature showcase on task runners, which are now generally available. Now, what is a task runner? Now, a task runner is a plugin capable of executing your tasks on a remote compute environment. Many data processing tasks are computationally intense, and so it's costly and expensive to have a server running all the time for a task that's only running several times a day. So instead of provisioning always on servers, task runners enable you to dynamically provision on-demand compute resources as you need them. And you can do this in the cloud as well with AWS ECS Fargate, Google Cloud Batch, Azure Batch and more. And this also supports auto-scaled Kubernetes as well. Let's say, for example, you're working with a huge amount of data for a machine learning model, but you're only going to work with this data in your workflow once a day. Now, having a server running all the time just for that one workflow can get expensive really quickly, especially with GPU power. So that's where the task runner comes in and allows you to only tap into that compute power when you need it, allowing you to only provision it at the time of execution of the task. Now, previously we had the runner property, which had either process or Docker as an option. Process being a sub process of your Kestra instance and Docker being in a Docker container. Now we've extended this even further with task runners, giving you the option to run this on AWS ECS Fargate, Azure Batch, Google Cloud Batch, Kubernetes, and more. And we've got dedicated guides for how to run it on these different task runners in the description below. Now, some of the main changes here is that now you have a dedicated container image property. And so this makes it just a little bit easier for being able to specify what image you wanna use regardless of your task runner. Now you may be thinking, when should I use a task runner? Worker groups exist. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, a worker group is a little bit different to a task runner because instead of only being able to spin up that compute power when you need it, a worker group will run all the time. So you might find that there's instances where both can be useful to you. If you've got a task that's running really regularly, a worker group is definitely the better option. Whereas a task runner is best suited for tasks that are happening infrequently. But maybe you've got a combination of tasks where you've got some that are running every five minutes and some that are running once a day. And so you can use these together to get the best experience overall especially if the compute requirements that these have are slightly different. For example, one requires lots of memory and one of them is very GPU heavy. Here's an example of the Google Cloud Batch task runner in action. Here I've got a basic Python task that's going to get us some information about the compute environment that our task runner is running on. But as you can see here at the top, and I'll actually zoom in to make that a little bit easier to see, the task runner properties are all specified here under the script command. And so here I can specify the GCP batch one, the project ID on Google Cloud, the region I want it to run in, the storage bucket for storing any files we're working with, as well as the service account for authenticating. And when I press execute, we'll see that this will run in real time directly in front of us. And as we can see here, it's created the job already and it's gonna start executing our task on Google Cloud directly from Kestra. As you can see here, it has successfully executed our task on Google Batch and we can see all the information we were expecting. You can automate that step one step further with Terraform. Here, Terraform is gonna set up AWS for us with the resources that we need and then it's gonna hand the information that we need back to our task runners so that we can execute our Python code on AWS. And as we can see from this example, we're using the Terraform deployment to get AWS all set up so that we can execute our Python tasks. As we can see here, Terraform has successfully provisioned AWS and now our Python scripts are all running in parallel on those task runners. This is just the start of what you can do with task runners. Hopefully you found that useful and you're gonna start using task runners. I definitely recommend checking out our dedicated guides on how to set up all of the cloud platform task runners and get them working inside of Kestra. If you do have any questions, remember to join our Slack community where you can chat with us there.